Hello everyone, I built this ship quite early during the game and I forgot to make a video about it. So here we are. I thought it would also be a good opportunity to take a look at how I used to design ships versus now. And one thing that I noticed is that I used to think of airplanes when designing ships. So you can see that there's a lot of wings type of things, right? That is something that it has changed a lot. Another thing that has changed is ladders. I mean, this ship does not have a lot of ladders, but it does have ladders, which is one thing that I started to avoid on my later designs. But overall, I think it is still a relatively okay looking ship. And I remember this being a quite expensive build. I think, I don't know the exact number, but I think it's 900,000 credits or a little bit more, just a little bit shy of about a million. I didn't know any better. I was still quite early on in the game, so I just slapped some of the most expensive parts. I also took this ship on a battle test flight because I can't remember honestly if these weapons are good or not. And I gotta tell you, yeah, it's good. They annihilate all the enemy ships way more than the combination of weapons that I've been using lately. So I might actually go back to this combination. So I'm going to take you guys to see the interior really quick. And after that, I'll show you all the parts in case anyone wants to, you know, build it. All right, so as we come up and this is the first ladder that you see, and this ladder goes up all three floors. That was an early mistake. To get to the second floor is actually relatively easy, but from the second floor to the third floor, usually it's always a bitch. It doesn't, it doesn't always work, the boost. I find it sometimes easier just to drop down from the second floor to the first floor and then boost all the way to the third floor. So that was some of my early design choices. I tried to make it better by putting a skyline, a window at the very top, but anyway, I don't think it solved the problem. Very early on during the game, I love these living quarters and I used it. And then next to this one, I have a captain's quarters, just next to the living quarters. I thought it was a good idea. And uh, we have a spine as well. This one leads to a research lab. And then next to the research lab, I just put two storage rooms for some reason. I mean, I just put two, um, but yeah, whatever. And then I had the dogger smack here in the middle. It kind of com completely breaks the path, but, but it's okay. So then we have the second floor only one berth I think this is a three by one so it goes all the way to the back I'm glad there are no ladders here on this floor at the back uh, it's just this one this is a two by one control station from Damos I like this one a lot it's very unique it's different from all the other uh, computer cores or control station I think this is a computer core I really like it except for the freaking papers on the floor that we cannot get rid of them. I don't know who, I don't know why, but God, it's so annoying to me. Uh, then this, I think it leads perfect to this cockpit. It's just, it's very open. If this interior could be somehow retrofitted into that Nova Galactic cable cockpit, man, I think it would be fantastic. And now we're gonna go to the third floor, which I always, yeah, I always, you know what? Yeah, I always miss it, it doesn't boost, so okay, let's go this way so couple of windows on the third floor I think great location then more windows and uh, this is a two by one only one berth that leads to this mess hall on the top floor now th this mess hall has a lot of windows and I think it looks actually pretty good like at this conference room having the windows on the side I think it looks fantastic and then there's another one at the back and then some more windows of course on the other side so it got rid of you know some of the furniture but i prefer the openness honestly uh, when it comes to the ship interior then one ladder here that leads to the workshop at the very top of the ship and yeah so that was that was yeah one of my early designs Ladders is kind of like the main annoying thing 
of this build. Uh, not a lot of them, but having one that go through three floors is, you know, a bit, a bit annoying. Um, I really hope we could have more stairs or diagonal hubs in a future update, but for now. All right, so I split the ship into different layers, different parts, so I can better show you how to put it together. And before that, here's a list of some of the unique parts that you have to go to those specific locations to get them. Put them on in a ship however you like. Go back to your outpost, your big landing pad, do the building there. So at least you have all the structure parts in one place. All right, now that being said, let's start with these bottom two layers. I think it will be easier. So we have a couple of halves. It's a two by two living quarters, a two by one. And to that, we have attached a Nova weapon mount on both sides. Then for weapons, we're using the a Trattle 280 missile launcher, I think great damage, 141, and it has a range of 4400. Then we have a Exterminator 95 Helium Beam, another weapon with decent damage and great range at 3575, even though it's a class B, but the ratings, the damage, and the range, pretty good. Here in the middle, I have a Tayo Breaking Engine, just smug in the middle. Behind that, we have a Stroud Companion Wave. This is the this is the one for the ladder where you enter from the landing bay and then the ladder that goes to the other two floors. Next to that, on each side, we have the Stroud Engine Mount. Then here, we have a Hot Tech Hub Spine that leads to two by one science lab. And next to that, just two one by ones that I made companion ways, or you can make them storage ways, or you can just remove them um, put you know two structures instead so next to that we have a Stroud nose cap b and behind that we have a deimos belly uh, this is a structure this is a deimos wing c and this is a nova radiator same thing on the other side and uh, that's pretty much it from that layer so below we have the landing bay this is from deimos then we have a few ng20 landing gears so there's one here another one behind different variants and I think this is also another NG20 landing gear. We have a cargo hold. This is the Polo 2020 cargo hold. Then behind that we have the Docker from Demos flipped to face down. Next to that a Stroud engine bracer on each side and then we have some helium tanks. These are the 500T helium tanks. Connected to that we have another cargo hold, the Galeon S204 on the other side as well and then I have another helium tank attached to the cargo hold, the M30 Ulysses then there is another landing gear here, these are the Pinpoint 3D landing gear one on each side and there is another Deimos belly here below that is it for the bottom two layers so now we have here a Stroud Cap A below flipped and then we have a Stroud Coaling same thing below and then the engine and this will go i believe here so these two they go here then we have this part which is the same on the outside the inside is flipped except for the bottom one instead of another structure i hit a cargo hole here and this is the Gillian s203 cargo hole so otherwise it's all absolutely the same and boom, this goes in here. So everything should be a uh, flash in one line, I think. We, we'll find out. So all that goes in here. Perfect. So now let's go to the next level. We have the Deimos bridge. Behind that, we have a two by one computer core. Next, we have braking engine on both sides and then a Deimos bumper. Then we have another companion way. And this is the one that aligns with this one. Behind that, we have a 3x1 all-in-one berth. A couple of structures, Deimos Wings A. This is all Deimos Wings A's. And then, finally at the back, the J52 Gamma Drive. So all of these comes here. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. And now, next level, we have the Nova Coaling. Behind that, a hub 2x1. And behind that, the 2x3 Stroud Mess Hall. On each side, we have Nova Wings. 
where the PBO300 Auto Alpha being mounted. Couple of windows, couple of port holes, kind of everywhere to the back as well. And at the one at the top. And this is the scan jammer. I used to always have scan jammer on my ship builds. Not so much lately. I stopped using it. I stopped grabbing contrabands at all in, in this game. Here we have a straw breaking engine, then the straw workshop, a 2 by one hub. Next to that, we have a Deimos Wing A and a Deimos Wing D. Then behind that, we have the Pinch AZ reactor, then Nova wings on each end, also with the PBO 300 Auto Alpha. Then on top of that, we have the Assurance SG-1800 shield another missile launcher here at the top and that is the final level and all this goes in here and let me put this back in here as well and perfect so now this is this is completely built uh let me know what you guys think i mean for an early build was this kind of good i think i'll be honest i think it was okay a little bit maybe above average design but i thought you know it was cool to to kind of revisit things i completely forgot i built this just kind of never used it and never even made a video about it so so anyway let me know what you guys think i thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun i love you all and i see you all in the next video